Cultivating hemp in Florida is an exciting opportunity that the Florida Department of Agriculture is making available soon. This and other educational materials are being provided to help explain the Florida Hemp Program and how to get involved. Industrial hemp is the same species as marijuana, cannabis sativa. However, hemp has been bred away from producing tetrahydrocannabinol, aka THC, which is the intoxicating component in the marijuana plant. Think of it like the same species, selectively bred for very different uses. Hemp cannot make you high. The 2018 Farm Bill legalized hemp, removing it from the Controlled Substances Act, where it had been lumped in with marijuana since 1937. In June of 2019, Florida authorized state-grown hemp in line with the new federal hemp regulations. Under both state and federal law, hemp is defined as a cannabis crop harvested with a less than 0.3% THC level. If a hemp crop goes over that limit, it is considered an illegal marijuana crop. The long-awaited date for cultivation applications is here. On Tuesday, April 6, 2020, the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, or FDAX, filed our cultivation rule for adoption, which started a 20-day clock for the rule to be effective on April 27, 2020. What does this mean? FDAX will start accepting applications for cultivation on Monday, April 27, 2020, via our website, fdax.gov. What can you do to prepare for the application prior to April 27? Watch our website for announcements. In addition, we will send out emails with details on the application process. The ORI number, or Originating Agency Identifier, for background checks for hemp cultivation permits is now active. As part of the hemp cultivation permitting process, applicants are required to complete a background check. To complete a background check, you must have the ORI number that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has assigned to FDAX. FL 925080Z. As of April 17, 2020, the number is active and may be used at locations that complete the fingerprinting and submission process. Visit the FDAX hemp page for a list of these locations. Hemp can mature in just a few months and produce up to 10 tons of biomass per acre. It is important to decide whether you want to grow hemp for seed, fiber, or essential oil. The process for each may have its own special requirements. There are educational materials for each of these that explain these differences. Understanding the needs, best practices, and growing standards for industrial hemp grown in Florida is vital to pulling off a successful, profitable crop. But because hemp was illegal to grow for nearly 80 years, there is a crippling lack of published resources and industry knowledge when it comes to growing industrial hemp, especially for Florida farmers. Recently, though, leading cannabis researchers, BDS Analytics and ArcView Market Research, projected that the collective market for CBD sales in the U.S. will surpass $20 billion by 2024. Interestingly, this figure is a slight increase from the recent forecast made by New York-based investment bank, Cohen & Company, which estimated that the market could pull in $15 billion by 2025. What property zoning is required for a license? The approved cultivation locations must be zoned as agriculture, industrial, or registered as a plant nursery. According to the Florida statutes, hemp growers may only use hemp seeds under certain conditions. A grower may use hemp seeds from a certifying agency, and the certified seed should be labeled with a seal stating the name of the certifying agency and a certification number. A grower may also use seeds provided by a university or institution conducting an industrial hemp pilot project. Labels will bear the statement, Pilot Project Hemp Seed, and identify the university or institution that granted approval. Hemp is best grown on a well-drained, aerated loam or sandy loam soil with adequate irrigation and a pH level between 6 and 7.5. In Florida, hemp will grow on almost all of our farmlands except boggy, wet soils. Because hemp is such a new crop to America, we have the advantage of not having too many diseases or pest issues yet, but there is a disadvantage of not knowing what will become a problem. In Florida, Hemp farmers should be concerned with pathogens related to our humid and warm conditions. 
powdery mildew, fusarium, botrytis, pythium, and root rot are all anticipated as potential problems best prevented with adequate plant spacing for airflow in applications of preventive biologics. Pests are adapting to this new crop. The hemp russet mite has been identified as a significant pest in Colorado hemp fields, but essentially any piercing or boring insect may cause a problem. Florida growers are advised to watch closely for corn borers, aphids, thrips, flea beetles, and similar type pests. Each hemp crop must be tested and proven to be under the legal limit of 0.3% THC at the time of harvest to legally sell it. However, testing throughout the growing life of your crop is a valuable tool for determining the rate of CBD and THC rise in your crop. As both CBD and THC levels increase as the plant gets closer to maturity, weekly testing procedures determine the rate rise and from there you can figure out the best time to harvest for the highest CBD levels that are still under the THC limits. Crop testing is also a great way to attract a good final sale, as biomass buyers pay the best price for high CBD biomass. Hemp produces a lot of biomass, and it must be handled correctly. Also, hemp must be properly dried or cured to avoid mildew and mold, which can ruin a crop before it is processed. Having an adequate shed, drying process, or drying equipment is imperative. There are several ways for hemp farmers to sell their crop. However, you decide how to do it. Make sure you understand the process from beginning to end before signing a contract and work with a trusted, vetted buyer who has a proven record of commitment to the Florida hemp industry. Additional resources and information can be found on the FDAX Hemp page, the University of Florida Industrial Hemp Program, or at the National Hemp Association.